This is the time of year, of course, when so many families are going on road trips, and we want to make sure this is a safe time for everybody. So we went and got some expert advice, mm -hmm. everything that people need to know, people need to be re uh, regularly reminded of, to do with your tires, mm -hmm. uh, how to look down the road, how to keep your kids occupied, and I even went behind the wheel for a little test drive. Take a look. It's very important to understand the importance of your tires. So a few tips. First and foremost, tread wear. Are you down to the nubs of, the, of, the, of your treads? If you are, it's probably time to change your tires. Next, uneven tread wear. Are you more worn on one side or another? You definitely have an alignment problem, if so. From there, look for bulges, bumps, cracks in your tires. These are all signs that your tire is done and it's time to change them. The last important thing is make sure that your tires are properly inflated. An underinflated tire does not perform as well as it should. And it's, and it's actually bad in your pocketbook as well. Give me a sense of the lifespan for a tire. It depends on the type of tire. Um, you have tires that, that last you know, 20,000 kilometers, but they're meant for the track, or they're meant for extreme driving. You have tires that last 80,000 kilometers or more, and they're meant more for longevity. So the next step for you is to get in that car and let her rip. And now I'm with John Mahler, a professional high-performance driving coach to give me the real tips of what I should do on the road. What do I do? First of all, you're going to drive with your hands at uh, three and nine position. You're okay. going to keep your vision well up so you're looking well ahead of the car, and then you're going to have the car follow where your eyes are leading. Let's go. Let's see how fast you can drive safely without hitting anything. And you're going to the left here, and your eyes are way up there, way up there, and to the left. And to the right, and follow the lane. Where's the lane? Uh, we kind of, kind of lost it there. Uh. And up to here, and stop. That was much better. I lost the see, lane, though. That's how did you see the lane? Can and I try it one vision. more time? Absolutely. Look ahead, look ahead, look ahead. Smooth rhythm. That's it. You've got the rhythm now. Around this series of cones to the left. Oh, left. Your other left. <laughs> Good job. So how'd I do? You did uh, quite well. Uh, so each time we would do this, we would try to go a little bit quicker and challenge yourself a little bit more. It was a very good start. It's really important ahead of a road trip to kind of talk to your kids, your family, about how important it is to be focused on the road while you're driving and how unimportant it is to be dealing with arguing and small issues that can occur in the car. So having a conversation with them and letting them know that it would be really helpful if they focused on their tablets instead of focused on arguing and if they focused on making the ride enjoyable for the entire family. And that's the most important thing. You want to make sure it's a safe drive. So if you have children in the back seat, keep them occupied because your eyes need to be on the road. You know, tablets are a good thing. Yeah. Also, yeah. the DVD players. And sometimes oh, it's good yeah. to, if you have two kids, two DVD players. <laughs> you know, oh, great. Keep yeah. the fighting. No fighting. But so. there's nothing more stressful, I think, than having this uh, you know, expert driver beside you, yes. assessing your, your every move. But, you know, it was With actually really good advice. <laughs> I learned a lot of things in okay. terms of the hand positions because yeah. we sort of get used and comfortable in our own thing. And also really where to look. you got to look down the road. People get yeah. so used yeah. to looking in front of their yeah. car, but that's yeah. when accidents yeah. happen because... Sure. You can't necessarily see the lights, you know, two cars ahead of them yeah. if they break. So it's really important, just, and it's a good reminder for everybody to have that really that time behind the wheel to be able to sort of go through. And you know, I hit a few pylons, I'll admit, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs>